Headline News Update. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here. This is Friday the 14th of January. We're looking at the Dow down 257 points to 35,856. Although it's really interesting, every single uh, drop in the market seems to be bought, but every rally also seems to be faded. There are a lot of questionable things going on here. People are not sure what to do. You can see that in the market. There's the pattern we call the dreaded H. If in the next couple of days the Dow closes under 35,600, it not only breaks support, but it's kind of a negative pattern altogether. So it really needs to get to the 36,150s and quite quickly by about Tuesday. Uh, S&P right now is also down, not as sharply. The Dow has some financials and and they're getting quite uh, badly hurt today. S&P is down 15 at 4645. Same pattern, the lowercase h pattern, 4818 straight down, all-time high straight down to 4582, comes up to the 4750 area, and now it's struggling. So once again, we're looking at the same pattern. So if the low of today is 4623. If at any point in the next couple of days, we start to take that out, key support is at 4598, and it needs very quickly to get into the 4662 area, 65 area, and that'll be that'll be impressive if we can do that. Looking at the QQQ one to three, there we go. Also, that pattern lower lows and lower highs. This is the, this is the, the bugbear. This is the one that's really troubling. And that weekly chart is saying this is at a really critical level at 378 up 77 cents. A close uh, any day, a close under 369 says, uh oh, real trouble here. IWM has been struggling. Um, it's down dollar 23. The Russell 2000 small caps. Big problem if it closes under 210, it's got to try to get to the 218 area very quickly. It's a 212. Now what we're looking at is gold. Gold is having, um, it's okay, it's unchanged right now at 1820, but it should be moving higher. Should and could are two different things. It could, all the technicals are there, but it hasn't done it. And, and uh, until um, crude oil, so, uh, sorry, until gold starts to trade in the 1830s, um, and break away from this this magnet of the 1814 area, that's a bit of a problem. And we're looking at crude oil doing really well. It's still holding up nicely. It's at eight, up 89 cents at 83.01. It's trying to tackle the 84's left side high. These double tops are very potent, so we'll see what happens if it can, if it can get there. And you're talking about the TLT. Even now, the TLT is down sharply, so yields are moving higher. This is a very a lot of cross currents here. Semiconductors keep your eye on that. What happens to them over the next few days? Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend. Check out Hope and Call, my gate news letter. Help me call uh, out every, every market day. Have a great weekend. Stay tuned for Larry Pizzavento. It should be a wonderful show coming out.